Hello everyone. This is Mariposa coming to you with the June edition of Embellishments on the 11th, sponsored by Deb Hawk at Deb Hawk's Crafty Cottage. I hope you are all well. I want to thank all of my new subscribers and thank again the subscribers that keep coming back to watch my videos. I really appreciate it. When you're finished watching what I created this month, please check out the links of the other collaborators below. Um, I promise you won't be disappointed. I have loved everything that I have seen from their videos as well. So this month I was inspired by this type of uh, straw. <laughs> so the paper drinking straws with the little embellishments on them. I was playing around with cutting them down in size and seeing if I could make smaller ones. So let's check out what I created. So I played around with different size of straws and I um, sometimes I did half size and sometimes I did one third. So these are two that I created. This one actually goes this way. And that was the other thing. I also played around with position. So this one is supposed to be like this at the top and I figured you could tuck it into like um, lace or uh, a ribbon or some kind of a twine tie and uh, then I also played around with putting them on the side so here's another one that I created the and the ribbons the ephemera um, came from kits that I had that I put together or um, ones that were gifted me by others here's another one and that again, the ribbon there is, the bow, sorry, is at the top, towards the top. Here's another example of me playing around with um, it being a horizontal kind of look. And here is a Maggie Holmes inspired butterfly. This, the paper for most of these is Maggie Holmes actually. And with this one, I put the um, embellishment on the straw uh, towards the top as a heart. So um, I like the way that these came out, but I wasn't crazy about the ends. Um, so I played around with um, pom poms and the little enamel uh, bling dots and uh, these acrylic dots, but I don't know, they didn't look dimensional enough. So then we move some of these over. I pulled out my beads and finally I came up with something that I, that I actually like. So I'm going to go with um, a bead at the top and this one's going to have a clear bead. But um, I want to kind of go through my stash and see what coordinates. So that is my embellishment share for this particular edition of the Embellishments on the 11th collaboration. Thank you so much as always for stopping by and taking the time to watch my video. I hope you're all finding some way to navigate these difficult times. Um, and I hope that you're safe and that you're all well. So take care and I'll see you in July. Bye.